Ooh, have I got an exciting time in store for you guys. Don't go away. Okay guys, this is the new Crawl Arms. Crawl Arms is not a new gun manufacturer. They've been around in Turkey for a quarter century or so. They are new here to us in the States though, and their line of air guns includes traditional styled rifles that includes a bullpup like this. The traditional ones are called the Crawl Puncher Mega and the Crawl Puncher Pro, but this one, the Crawl Puncher Breaker, is, uh, is their bullpup. They're available in synthetic stocks. They're available in walnut specifically in the uh, in the breaker you can get it in this uh, in this plastic and in this silver anodized looking like metal or painted metal which they call marine um, in all of the calibers I know they're at least available in 177 22 uh, and 25 but what is the most exciting thing for me about this gun is all of the excellence that it offers for a $550 price tag. I've spent the last couple of days playing with this at the house, just getting used to it and learning it, and it has been full of surprises. So I wanna take just a couple of minutes and take you through them before, uh, before we get into the review. But um, overall, the, uh, the puncher breaker is 29 inches long. It's 10.2 pounds, as you see it here, with the scope, with the mounts, on a full charge. So. Um, it is a very compact and well-balanced unit and even though it is a little bit over 10 pounds Which isn't extraordinarily heavy because it's so short the weight is all kind of between here and your body So it doesn't feel heavy at all. It's very easy To hold very steady on target. I think for for just about anyone but um, the puncher is available in, the, in, a, in a black plastic stock um, or it's available in walnut it's available in this silver color uh, which they call marine or it's uh, available in a black so you got some different different choices but um, one of the things that totally blew me away uh, one of the things that totally blew me away about this gun is shot count now at five hundred and fifty dollars this is not a regulated air gun however it thinks that it is and what I mean by that is the uh, this air cylinder in here which is 280 cubic centimeters um, in 177 through 25 is capable in 22 of a little over 50 shots on full power with a standard deviation of about five feet per second and that is amazing and if I turn power down to about half power I'm gonna get about 70 shots with a standard deviation of about six and a half or seven feet per second. That is a very, very flat shot curve. And if you're new to air gunning, what that means is that every time you charge it, you have a lot of shots to go before you have to worry about starting to compensate for drop as the gun runs out of air. Now, it is not only long living and economical, you're probably wondering now, well, if it gets that many shots, it doesn't make much power. Contraire, on high power, this gun is averaging across those 50 shots, about 29 foot-pounds of energy into two. And on medium power, across those 70 shots, it is averaging about 19 foot-pounds. So that is three to, to six times more power than you need to take game like rabbit, squirrel, groundhog, out to 50 yards. So um, there's incredible longevity and power all wrapped up in, in, uh, in this package. But it doesn't stop there, okay? The barrel is also shrouded, which means that this is a silenced air gun. It is very quiet. I've taken it apart. There's nothing fanciful in here at all, really. You just unscrew the, uh, the end cap here, and the barrel will stop about right here, and, which makes it very easy to service and clean. If you wanna pull, you know, pull cleaning cloths through or put a cleaning rod in there, everything's very accessible and easy to get to, but somehow it manages to do a, uh, a superb job. Okay, up on top is a Weaver Picatinny rail so you can securely mount your favorite scope or laser or whatever. And the gun even comes with a removable little Picatinny Weaver rail on the bottom. This one's made of aluminum. This one's made of plastic. It comes with a little um, metal screw 
and a brass insert where you can secure it to the bottom of the stock here, or you can remove it if you think you'll never use it. But that is a very nice touch, especially in this price point. Another thing that is a nice touch in this price point is this little storage compartment up here. It holds a spare magazine. And what that means is that this gun comes with two magazines for this price point and a removable single shot tray. Now, I have the privilege and honor of having my hands on a lot of air guns costing three to four times as much money as this guy. And I have to tell you that this shot tray and the magazines that come in this gun are phenomenal. And I don't mean just phenomenal for the money. I mean like phenomenal period in their operation and their function. Um, hopefully as I'll be able to demonstrate to you today if it quits raining and sprinkling out. Um, the accuracy of this gun has been tremendous for me um, in just the few days that I've played with it. And if that's not enough, like I said earlier, power is adjustable. Um, there are no detents in here. This knob just kind of twists and rotates freely. It's nice and firm, so it shouldn't move around on you at all. But on high power, we're getting 29 foot-pounds. On medium power, we're getting 19 foot-pounds. That's with an 18 grain 22 pellet, by the way. And on low power, it's shooting that pellet at about 350 feet per second. So whether that's useful for most of you, I don't know, but that is certainly an appropriate speed for um, maybe teaching the kids or, or a little bit of fun plinking in the back rat yard or maybe shooting a rat off of the bird feeder in an, in an urban area. It is certainly appropriate for those things. Um, you'll just have to see if it, makes, uh, if it makes good sense to you. Now, there's still more. This cheek piece here is adjustable. It slides forward and backward just by loosening this little screw right on top here so you can get a very comfortable cheek weld on this gun. The, uh, the butt pad is, uh, is rubber. It is not adjustable. For me, I don't really care. A lot of nice high-end guns today come with adjustable butt, butt pads, but I never really find that I need to adjust them. If rarely ever I do, it's to drop it down a little bit, maybe to adjust for you know height, getting the scope where I want it. But with adjustable scope mounts being all over the market today, I don't know if that's, uh, if that's really a, uh, a necessity. But um, for $550, this is just totally blown me away with all the great things that are going on here. Now, the, uh, the action is a side lever cocking action and it is incredibly smooth for the money. It just feels phenomenal. The, uh, the trigger is, I don't know what it's gonna weigh, I'm guessing it's somewhere between a two and three pound trigger. It's dual stage, it is adjustable, it's not match grade, but it is very, very good. There's the first stage there and there is no creep at all and that sucker just uh, just lets right off. The safety is not an automatic safety, it's manual, which means you need to flip it on and off. And um, it is in a very good spot. It's right here, very, very convenient, up here by the cheek. And it is super slick to operate. And um, it just has the perfect amount of flick and throw to it. And it's just, I'm just totally blown away by all, by all they've put the, into this gun for, uh, for the dollar amount. Um, if there's anywhere that they saved money, um, which I do not fault them for because kudos to them for bringing us so much gun for about 550 bucks, it's the stock, okay? The stock is plastic. It is not the rubberized, grippy stuff that you're going to see on an Air Arms or like on an FX air gun or a caliber gun. It is not that heavy, thick, nice um, finished, um, like you might see like a, like, a, like a painted rubber on a day state over wood. It's not that. It's a, it's a plastic hollow stock which is good because it makes it light, but what you'll have to be mindful of is right now it's just, you know, it's damp out here and already it's slick. So if you're out in the rain with this thing or if you're out in the morning dew, it's gonna tend to wanna slip out of your hands because it is just a hard plastic stock, nothing, uh, nothing too fancy. However, it is designed wonderfully. Look at this, look at the grip on this thing. It's a skeleton stock to keep weight down. They even put the little finger marks in here with the, uh, with the little textured pads. So. Um, it's got this nice big handle up here with, with more textured padding up here. So with that, I am um, very excited to get into this re review and share with you guys a little bit more about the, uh, about the crawl. So without any further ado, <laughs> let's get to it. Let's get this out of the way right up front. The weather sucks. Winds are out of my four, steady at six, gusting to 10 miles an hour. And it's drizzling. But I got a schedule to keep, so here we go.
I've always been kind of curious what kind of effect rain has on accuracy. Even though today's conditions aren't the best for making movies, I appreciate how they simulate the real world hunting conditions we actually use these rifles in. So for me at least, it kind of makes this a super review. Apparently it doesn't make that much difference, not at 25 yards anyway. Eh, close enough. If you're thinking about a hollow point for your punch or breaker, I tried them all, and this is the one it liked best. Let's get some air in this bad boy. Refilling the crawl's 280 cubic centimeter aluminum tank is very easy. Just rotate the dust cover to expose the fill port. The gun comes with a proprietary fill probe and spare o-rings. Insert and charge. You can fill the crawl's tank to a maximum of 200 bar or about 2900 PSI. Once you're done, bleed the system, remove the probe. Cover the fill port, it's that easy.
I know a lot of you have been wanting to know about the Crawls Trigger, and I gotta tell you, it's pretty darn good. It's dual stage, and it's adjustable, and I haven't done a thing with it. The first stage take up is very light and short, and it comes up against a fairly spongy second stage, which you definitely know where it is. Let up is great. Very little creep. The teeny little bit that's in there can probably be tuned out, and it feels like about a two pound trigger out of the box. Two pounds, six ounces. On high power and shooting an 18 grain, my sound meter can barely differentiate between the crawl and ambient background noise. When dialed back to medium power, the puncher breaker gets even quieter. Now it's against my better judgment to share 50 yard groups with you guys than 11 mile an hour wins, but I'm going to do it anyway so let's nobody be stupid in the comments today. Winds like this blow 22 cal pellets all over the place, but the results are interesting nonetheless, so enjoy. And if you really focus and get your hands on some uniform pellets, the crawl made rifled and choked barrel will deliver.
So there you have it, guys. Unveiling the mystery of the crawl. <laughs> I don't know what more you could ask for from a $550 air gun. 3 8 inch 10 shot groups at 25 yards in the wind and the rain. 3 quarters of an inch to an inch at 50 yards in the wind and the rain. And even backing things all the way out to 100 an inch and 3 quarters. The uh, rain disappeared but we definitely had those uh, strong winds. I am totally, totally blown away. Oh, I know what you could ask for. Adjustable power, 19 to 29 foot pounds of energy and 50 to 70 shots per fill with a standard deviation of just five to seven feet per second. That is a very finely tuned air gun that some engineers spend a lot of time on getting it right for you. And then you add in the overall excellence of the gun with the ergonomics, the weight, the quality, the fit and finish of everything, all the little doodads that come with here, like the dual magazines and, and the little Picatinny rail and the single shot tray and the silencer on the front. It's just totally blows my mind what you can get today out of uh, turkey for for money like this but with that please don't forget guys this episode would not have been possible without the support of airgun depot jsb predator international splatterburst targets and h n pellets and you guys know the best way to thank them as for thanking me please don't forget to like share subscribe comment and tell your friends about us and be sure to check us out on facebook I'll post things there for behind the scenes pics and information that won't make it into the videos and you won't want to miss out. So with that, I'm Steve Shally. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.